Hey guys, J No Zero. Uh, well, it's Groundhog Day. Happy Groundhog's Day, everybody. And uh, if y'all remember a couple months back, uh, we shot that groundhog and I put him in the freezer and we got his hide. It was tanning uh, his hide so we can put him on the menu wall out there on the shed, which I'll make a video at some point about the menu wall. Uh, it's raining today and it's a pretty crappy day. We got snow moving in. But uh, I believe this hide is done and what more fitting day than to take the groundhog hide off of the uh, the board and hang him on the, hang him on the wall. So this is taking a lot longer than what it should have and it's my fault because the first location that I had uh, this hide hanging in it got rained on and wet so I had to resalt him and hang him again and in that location got snowed on and he got wet again so I resalted him and hung him again I'm a little concerned whether or not it's still going to be a, a good decent quality hide but it, I guess it doesn't really matter since he's just going uh, out there onto the wall and you can see what I ended up doing was just hanging him here on the back porch. I just drilled a little hole in my board and hung him up from the uh, from the rafters up there on the, the porch rafters or whatever you want to call them, those roof supports. And uh, so we're just going to pull him down and uh, pull him off the board here. And we'll uh, see how he looks. So, set him on this table here. And... Uh, let me get my camera set up and we'll pull the staples out and pull them off of there. Alrighty, here's the board. And if you remember, we just uh, we just stapled him in a few places onto this board here. And we just take the handy dandy Leatherman and uh, pull the staples out of him. Got some up here at the front. <clears throat> Couple back here at the back. Now, if you remember this hide, we soaked him um, overnight, and then we stapled him onto this board, and we rubbed him down with salt real good. But like I said, it's been, um, he's got to wet a couple more times, and I've had to redo him a couple of times, so hopefully it'll be good enough for the, uh, the menu wall, and I think it will be. I think it should be fine. He feels like he's pretty dry. Alright, now we try to slide this belly board out, if I can, which I don't know if I can or not. I think my belly board needed to be a little bit bigger. There we go. Come on now. Try to push it down from the top there. Slide this board on out. Come on, board. And nothing ever goes right when you got the camera on. Well, if I can't get the board out, then we're going to have to split him. We'll have to split this hide down the middle in order to get him all the way out here, which I will try not to do. But like I said, this is a this is not a hide that I intended on selling or anything like that. This is just one that I'm going to hang on the wall out there. Let me see if I can find a longer stick to try to push this out. For some reason, I can't get it. It's not wanting to come out as easily as what it should, but uh, let me try to find a little push pole. Push it on out. sure we got all the staples off of him yeah I don't think that see now that that mistake that I made right there is this belly board wasn't really big enough to keep it where I have a lot of room in order to work to slide that hide off of this board but that's all right so all we're gonna do now like I said this is just a hide for the for the wall out there so I'll just take my knife and just split it right down the middle here
pull this board off. Turn the hide inside out. Or right side in, I guess. And there we go. There's our groundhog hide that's going to be ready to go up onto the menu wall. Menu wall of the shed. Hair's not coming out. So it turned out better than what I thought it was going to after having to be redone a couple of times. But uh, what I'll do is here in a little bit we'll go out to the, uh, to the shed there. And I'll tuck this back underneath and we will uh, tack him up to the shed on the menu. Brush him out. Now if I was going to use this hide for something other than than uh, just tacking it up onto the shed, I would, uh, you can you can re-soak this hide and then rework it and, and work it and wad it up and work it and you can still do it. Loosen it up so that it's not so uh, not so stiff. Soak it and work it. But like I said, this is not one that's going to be used as a placemat, or it's not one that's going to be used for uh, anything other than just a little bit of decoration on the shed. So there you have it. This part we got him off of the board. The hide looks good. I may take a little cat brush and kind of brush it out a little bit, but there you go. Now. If you didn't want the hair on it, which I wanted to keep the hair on it, but you could have, you know, you could have tanned it, you could have brain, I could have brain tanned it or uh, tanned it with uh, like acorn, make an acorn wash and that acid in there would have helped to hide the hair to fall out of the hide, but I didn't want that, so there we go. There's our, there's our tanned and dried groundhog hide on groundhog day and here in a little bit we'll get out there to the shed and tack him up and see what he looks like hanging on the menu wall alrighty I got a bit of a break in the weather and you can see where I've got a I left an empty spot there for the groundhog right there on this section this is the uh, one part of the menu wall out here on our my little work shed tool shed and uh, this is uh, where we're going to put that groundhog at, right there. We got a gray squirrel and a red squirrel. Then we've got the, uh, the coon from last winter. We've got the turkey, wild turkey feather and a deer. And then we're going to have a groundhog and we're going to put rabbits and stuff on it. But anyway, I'm going to get my ladder out and get this thing put up there and we'll see what it looks like when it's done. Alrighty, there we go. There's our groundhog up there on the menu wall with the few of the rest of the critters that we eat around here uh, that way now I call it the menu all that way whenever city folks show up for a visit and they ask uh, you know what's for dinner I just tell them oh look point at the wall <laughs> oh, I don't know if I mentioned there's that copperhead snake that we did back in the summer too he still looks real good that coon uh, that coon hide right there may have to be replaced here this winter sometime it's looking looking all beat up but that's all right it is what it is so uh, there you go, y'all. Groundhog Day hillbilly style, I guess. <laughs> Figured it was kind of fitting. One less lion groundhog in the world. Them liars. Of course, this year, I know. I guess he saw his uh, shadow. It says six more weeks of winter, which makes sense after the winter we've been having this year has been pretty good so far. So anyway, uh, hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day. God bless. The end. Buzz, buzz, the end.